Well, it is one windy day outside. All right, today I'm gonna to work on the back part of the uh, lady and do what I did on the front part, uh, building the folds of the uh, deerskin dress she's wearing. And uh, then I might start on her hair, I hope. I'd really like to. All right, let's get started. Time to play with some clay. Okay, I've just uh, put a bit of the clay that I flattened in my uh, pasta machine and now I'm just trying to make the folds of the sleeve as dramatic as I can because that's what's going to make this piece uh, is the beauty of that dress. I've been trying to think how to um, do this hand and I think I found a way I'm going to do one hand I don't want to have to do two hands it's a lot of detail that has to be cast and I'm thinking that I'll put a blanket over her hand which means I'm going to have to change no, I won't have to change a lot. I'm just trying to think how I can do this. I may have to get another piece of wood to go in here and have the blanket end right back here. So that's what I was thinking last night. I think that would look nice as far as the design of the piece too. So I'm, gonna, I'm just thinking about that. I don't know if that's going to work out or not.
All right, I'm going to have a fringe, a small fringe, on the bottom of the sleeves. And I'm going to, I want the, the fringe to look the same on all sides, even the sides that are underneath the sleeve or going behind. And uh, I'm trying this method out. I'm going to have to cut that right there. And I got to stuff it back here. Behind there. Now I'll have to blend that in. I don't know if that looks all that good. I'm just trying this and see if it works out. Okay, I'm going to just continue on doing this and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I haven't shown too much of what I've been doing because it is almost impossible to show in these angles that I'm working at. But uh, what I've been doing is working on the flap of the uh, dress, the end of the uh, sleeve of the dress trying to get the uh, texture in all and I've got to work on that dress that's on the uh, behind it as well all right I pretty well ran out of clay here I'm going to do something right now though that uh, I'm going to use what clay I've got and try to do something here to give this blanket just a little bit more of a wrinkled look. I'm going to put a little right there. I'm going to get all right, everybody, that's going to be it for tonight. I wish I could have gotten done with this thing, but I'll let this, I'll just let this sit till Monday when I get back on it and uh, try to get that uh, back of the dress as finished as I can. I'm happy with this. Yeah, when you're designing something, you have to fill in big gaps like this and you have to figure out how to do that and still make it look logical. All right, everybody. Good night. See you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.